Okay. <laughs> Was that necessary? No, but is this necessary? Yes, it is. Good morning. I'm Cindy from Surviving Mommy and cheers. Welcome to Coffee Combo Wednesday. It's a big show today. Why am I wearing a pink wig? Why am I yelling? So much to talk about today. All right, so if this is your first time joining me for Coffee Combo Wednesday, cheers to you. I don't normally wear wigs. Sometimes I like props and accessories, but that's me, what can I say? Um, so I wanna give you a cheers and say welcome to Coffee Convo Wednesday. Why am I wearing a pink wig? Why is this a big episode? There's so much going on because today is our 50th episode. Woo, 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 woo. That's right. And not only is it the 50th episode of Coffee Combo Wednesday, today's my cancer anniversary. Woo woo! What does that mean? That means seven years ago today, I was diagnosed with breast cancer. Why is it called a cancer anniversary? I don't know. I didn't make it up. And I'm all about finding any excuse to celebrate. So why not? Life is too short. Oh, wait. Hair in my mouth. So today I thought I would celebrate by donning a, uh, an obnoxious pink wig. <laughs> Um, and you know, decorate the set here with a, the set, AKA my kitchen, with some fun pink accessories. Um, I woke up to my husband, uh, left me a note for my cancer anniversary and gave me one of my most favorite things in the world, chocolate covered gummy bears. I put one in my mouth right now, but then I'd be chewing and talking and I tried to teach my daughters not to talk with food in their mouth, so I'm not going to. But you can bet your bottom dollar that that entire bag of chocolate covered gummy bears, and yes, I did say chocolate covered gummy bears, yeah, it's going to be gone probably in the next hour, but I won't do that in front of you because that would be way embarrassing. All right, so today's my, uh, my cancer anniversary. Seven years ago today, I was diagnosed with breast cancer. That's why I'm wearing this because it's just a fun reminder that I am alive and I get to live life. Woo! So whatever, you know, kids celebrate their half birthday, which whatever. Who cares what you want to celebrate? Celebrate whatever you want to because it's your life. Woo! All right, so a couple of things though about breast cancer, quickly. Um, I know a lot of people uh, have either been affected by breast cancer, you know someone with any kind of cancer. I kind of think we all somehow are affected by cancer. Mine started at an early age because my mom went through cancer, and I know for a fact she's watching this morning. Whoop, whoop! Good morning, mom. And my mom, four times, four times cancer. Three breast cancer and one uterine cancer, so my mom, kicked cancer's tushy and she fought cancer like a B-O-S-S, boss. So we all know someone who's been affected by cancer. Maybe it's you, maybe it's a friend, a sister, an aunt, brother, daughter, mother. I mean, it's everywhere. So here's the thing with me, and this is why I just kind of want to just take a little bit of Coffee Cava Wednesday to remind you. I found my breast cancer by doing this. Yeah, that's right. I just squished my girls on <laughs> live Facebook <laughs> because it's really important. I did that and then I coincidentally had a yearly doctor's appointment to go see my girly doctor and she squished the girls and said, mm, something doesn't seem right. So you know when they always tell you, do your monthly self breast exam and you're like, yeah, I'll get right on that. Not do it. Here's why. Because at the time when I got diagnosed, I was on a radio station in Atlanta, Georgia. Um, and I was talking about it on the air. And a friend of mine, Stephanie, heard me talk about it on the air. And then she went and scheduled a mammogram, which is what you should do if it runs in your family or you're over the age of, say, 40. You have a history of it, whatever. Or you just want to be like Angelina Jolie. It ran in her family. She wanted to get a check about it. So regardless if you're like, eh, I don't want to do a mammogram, okay. But can you at least squish the girls once a month for me? Maybe like pick a Wednesday and then you see me you go like, oh, that's right, Cindy told me I should be squishing the girls. If you don't know how to do it, look, I'm not gonna do it all the way, but you can just Google monthly self breast exam and it'll show you how to feel. And you just feel for anything that doesn't feel normal. You just feel for a bump, a lump. Mine kind of felt like a little hard, you know those bouncy balls <laughs> that your kids play with or you played with when you were little? That's what mine kind of felt like. So I'm grateful that I was squishing my girlies, uh, but even more grateful that I went to the doctor. And a uh, side note, I was talking to some women recently, all around the same age as me, and something came up about girly stuff, and they hadn't been to their OBGYN, the girly doctor, 
in like years. And I don't know, maybe my mom taught me that. Thank you, mom. But I go every year. So if you haven't been in years, you should just kind of have everything checked out. It's just good to take care of yourself. And if you're a mother, I know sometimes, even if you're just a woman and not a mom, it doesn't matter. Sometimes it's just hard to worry about taking care of yourself when you got work, kids, a home to take care of, you're stressed out, whatever. But guys, this is the most important thing. And I'm talking from here all the way down, taking care of yourself, which includes sometimes splurging on chocolate covered gummy bears. So there you go, that's my advice for you. Go get a mammogram, go get a girly checkup, and squish the, swish, swish, squish, or swish, no. Squish the girls once a month. For me, I would be super grateful. Um, and I'm wearing this wig because um, a year ago, my friend Stephanie, who coincidentally did go get a mammogram after she heard me talk about it, was diagnosed with breast cancer. So on the day of her surgery, I showed up in this wig with the pink lipstick, pink armbands, and a tutu and wings that I borrowed for my, for my daughters um, <laughs> to go surprise her at the hospital. So when you always ask, what can you do when someone gets diagnosed? Make them laugh. I can't tell you how important it is to laugh through hard times because that's what I did when I got diagnosed and it worked for me. That and I sort of guilted people into like giving me the last piece of cake. Like, hey, um, oh, you're not, that piece of cake, yeah, well, you know, I mean, I have cancer, so just saying I should probably have that last piece of cake. Just saying. Use the cancer card if you need to. Make yourself laugh. Life is too short. Wear a pink wig. All right, that's number one. So that's why I'm wearing this today. Oh, can't cover up the logo now or the girls. <laughs> All right, that's number one on the list. Number two on the list on today's special 50th episode, Cancerversary edition, I found out something recently about my 11-year-old daughter. She doesn't like syrup. Syrup! Who doesn't like syrup? It's weird. We were having breakfast for dinner, because, you know, that's a thing. And I don't remember what we're having. I think pancakes. She's like, oh, I'm good on the syrup. I said, what? No, thanks. I said, you don't like syrup? Since when? I just don't like syrup. I don't think I ever really liked syrup. What? How do you not like syrup? I get it. I'm kind of a freak when it comes to food. That's a whole other coffee combo Wednesday. But is it syrup like a universal thing? Like bacon? Okay, maybe that's just me. But you know when you're eating pancakes and bacon and then the syrup like glides into the bacon? Goodness, and it's like bacon syrupy goodness. Uh, yeah, she doesn't like syrup. Weird. But it's okay. She's 11 and maybe that will change. I didn't like a lot of things when I was 11. Ask my mom who's watching. Uh, yeah, I didn't like a lot of things. But um, yeah, syrup, I don't know. Is there something that you don't like that maybe you think everyone in the universe likes and you're the only one? Because I sort of feel like I said that syrup's like a thing, like everyone likes syrup, but not, not really because my daughter doesn't like it. So I don't know. Okay, that's it. Let me, I'm gonna move on from that because I love my daughter and I love her even if she doesn't like syrup. That's okay. I'll turn her eventually. <laughs> I'm just kidding. All right, so number three is kind of an odd story, like a situation that happened. And I'm gonna be real and tell you about what my first reaction was and then how I ultimately reacted. So recently I took my 11 and a half year old daughter to a theater. Doesn't matter what, doesn't matter whatever, where it was, it's not important. But at the theater, we were, we were sitting and then someone walked in front of us, two women, and they sat down. Let me back up. It was specific seats, so it wasn't like a, a situation where like in a movie theater you can, you know, just move. So a woman sits in front of me and I'm like this and I look up and uh, to see the show in front of me and I can't see it because she has big curly hair. Now, not big and obnoxious pink like I'm wearing today, but like curly hair that's maybe like this, and then you know, top was like curly, and I don't know if she teased it a little because it was a little high. So it was really like a lot going on here and then a lot going on here. I couldn't see. When I say I couldn't see, I mean I couldn't see at all. Not in the dramatic, Cindy likes to tell an embellishing story kind of way. I literally, couldn't see in in front of me. So my little one sitting over here and I couldn't ask her to switch because I knew if I couldn't see, she couldn't see. And she really wanted to see the show and I really wanted to see the show. And so 
I thought, well, what am I going to do? Well, now, again, let me give you a little backstory here. There's like eight to ten people this way. It was a big theater. And like eight to ten people this way. And we have assigned seating. So it's not like I can just, as you would in a movie theater, go sit somewhere else. I literally couldn't see. And I'm not going to lie. I'm embarrassed to admit, but the first reaction, I was like this. <laughs> really? And I wanted to hand her a scrunchie. I'm just kidding. The scrunchie. I'm just kidding. I mean, a uh, hair tie. I don't use scrunchies. I'm just kidding. I wanted to hand her something to put in her hair because my first, I hate it. I'm human. I can't help it. My first instinct was total irritation. Like, I mean, it was big. It was like, it was like, it was big. It was big and I couldn't see. So I sat there for a moment, kind of stewing and just being annoyed. And then I remember, I re remembered that. A, a friend of mine had given me the tickets for free. B, I'm at a show with my daughter, and she's really excited to see the show. Uh, so there's that. And C, I could still hear. Even though I couldn't see, I could still hear the music and whatever. So I took a deep breath, and I thought about something I learned a million years ago. Is it better to be right, or is it better to be kind? Sure. Could I have said something to her? Hey lady with the fantastic curls, but today they're just a little big. I need you to move or push them on down there. Or here's a scrunchie or a hair tie. Can we slick it back a little? No, really? Wouldn't you just be mortified? Cause look, I have naturally curly hair. I mean, you can't see it today, but I have naturally curly hair. And while it's not big, wonderful curls like this woman had in front of me, I mean, her hair was great. It was great, but it was also big. I'm not gonna, Excuse me, ma'am, can you do something with that hair? No, I'm not gonna do that because I would never do that to another woman. I would never be ugly to another woman. It's not cool, it's not kind. I wouldn't do that to anyone, really, even if it was a man with big curly hair. So I said nothing because is it better to be right or is it better to be kind? Like I said, my first instinct was complete and utter annoyance. Like, I gotta sit like this the whole time. And let me tell you, it was a show that had an intermission. So at the intermission, I thought, nope, still have no choice. I'm still stuck here. Oh, and look at my kid. She's so happy. The things you do for the people you love. So I sat there, I actually prayed a little bit, and I said, dear Lord, thank you for this opportunity, for getting to sit here with my child, for getting free tickets, um, and for this woman in front of me who looks like she's having a good time. And I am going to just enjoy this show, not seeing anything and so I didn't it was like sitting like this the whole time I listened to the music I enjoyed the music I looked over my daughter was so happy and I saw nothing until like the very end of the show she started to do a lean and then I could see some of the people on the stage over to the right I was like oh my goodness that's what they look like I can see them so once she started to do the lean to her friend I got to see a little bit off to the right but it was like way off to the right and was really only like maybe three minutes. So there you go. What do you do in that situation? That's why I said, what would you do? I don't know that you can really do anything because in a movie theater, you can go switch and move to another seat. But in a crowded theater where your seats are assigned and you're in the middle and you can't go to the right and you can't go to the left, what are you gonna do? So it was just a good reminder that, hey, hashtag first world problems. I just enjoy the show listening to it and I enjoyed spending time with my kid. So, whatever, there you go. All right, so that was number three. Now for the best part. Today is the 50th episode, which means I have done 50 episodes of Coffee Convo Wednesday, almost an entire year because we do this every Wednesday. So I have a little present for you. How about a $50 Disney gift card? Woo woo! Why, because duh. If this is your first time, you should know I love Disney. If this is not your first time, you probably already know this, that I love Disney. I grew up going to Disneyland in California because that's where I'm from. And our family loves anything having to do with Disney. It goes back to number one, having the breast cancer, living life big, doing things that make you happy. So today I'm celebrating my cancer anniversary seven years ago. And it's my 50th Coffee Combo Wednesday, so you should have a present. Why? Because my husband got me chocolate covered gummy bears and wrote me a sweet little note today. I got chocolate covered gummy bears. 
you should have a $50 Disney gift card. But that's not all, folks. It was like a really bad drum roll. That's not all. I'm also going to give you, not this one, because look, there's a lipstick stain. I'm also going to hook you up with a, <clears throat> ready? A Surviving Mommy t-shirt. You can have this one with the pink. Or you can have the Disney-inspired version um, of it that I have also, which you can see on the website if you go to survivingmommy.com. And I'm going to hook you up with a Surviving Mommy coffee mug and a Surviving Mommy chapstick. Yep, have those. Don't sell them. They're just for special people. Um, but I have a Surviving Mommy chapstick. And let me tell you, look, this isn't the one you're getting. Oh, it's, um, it's strawberry and it's so good. But that's not the one you're getting because that's gross. It's used. Um, I'm going to give you one, a brand new one, and this. And you're going, how do I get the $50 gift card, the Surviving Mommy t-shirt, the Surviving Mommy mug, and the Surviving Mommy chapstick? You know the drill. You know the drill, peeps. Just share this video. Share this video just one time, and a little reminder, if your profile is set to public, I can't see that you shared it. So, if it's set to private, you need to set it to public. So, if your profile... Sorry, hair is like itching my face. If your profile, your Facebook profile is set to private, change it to public, and also just comment after you've shared it so then I can know. I put you into a random drawing and I will pick one person because that's all you have to do is share it once. And I will pick one winner uh, five o'clock this Friday. Today is Wednesday, so Friday, March 31st um, by five o'clock. And then I will notify you if you are the big winner of the $50, $50. Disney gift card and the Surviving Mommy prize pack. Why? Because like I said, it's my cancer anniversary, and I am seven years out, no cancer in my body. So don't forget, ladies, let me go over what we talked about. Number one, if you have someone who has been diagnosed with cancer in your life, it's you, it's someone you know, it's a loved one, make them laugh. That is the best thing you can do. Laughter really is the best medicine. And ladies, do your monthly self-breast exam, squish, squish, squish not going to be all graphic and coffee convo now you can google the correct way to do it if you need some help ask a friend not to do it for you but to show you, <laughs> show you how i mean whatever if you're into that that's cool too you can have a friend squish the girls um, or just ask a doctor go get your checkup please take care of your bodies ladies early detection is the key that's what helped me i did chemo i did radiation and now i'm cancer free and i'm going to take every opportunity to celebrate life so that's number one on the list and number two my 11 year old doesn't like syrup. When did this happen? And she just doesn't, she says, I don't like how sweet and gooey and sticky it is. Who knew? So anyway, is there something that you don't like that you think everyone else in the world likes and you're like, am I just a weirdo? Because we could do a whole episode on things that I don't like. So clearly I know where my 11 and a half year old gets it from. This girl from me. And then number three, I sat behind a woman who had large curly hair and what would you have done in that situation? Like I said, first I was like, eh. and then I thought, you know what? Who cares? I'm alive and I'm having a moment with my kid. All is good. So there you go. Want the $50 Disney gift card at the Surviving Mommy Prize Pack? Share the video. Thank you for hanging out with me on my 50th episode of Coffee Combo Wednesday and my seventh year cancer anniversary. Thanks for celebrating with me. I'm going to dab into the champagne there with my chocolate covered gummy bears. I love you, honey. Thank you for my morning gift today. Um, and then also don't forget, you can follow me on Instagram, Twitter, and Snapchat at Surviving Mommy. Thanks for hanging out with Coffee Combo Wednesday and me on such a fun day. And thank you for letting me share my story and sharing all sorts of fun with you today. I appreciate it. I'll have to give you a big cheers, not in your coffee mug, but in my coffee mug. And have a great day and happy anniversary, everyone. Mwah. Bye.